long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. was in the era of the dice wielders. And like all eras, it too would come to an end, fading into legend and mystery. Our story begins later, in Wancroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Warners! I am the queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! Hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Fortuna works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? 
And so the queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of hey guys, check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Ah, uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she said. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their own ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the queen plan for us is so grand joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy that today her representative Even Odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad, I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday! Oh, even! And I got a present for you. It's so cute! Make a wish! And the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. It had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen, up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. He even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or was it simply that she had changed? A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas, and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive. An image of great-great-great-grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread. An image of great-great-grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure, odd shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Even. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her were safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the card makers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who'd ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe. Even stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. <laughs> <laughs>